Hey guys, welcome to Bedtime Story. Whether you've had a good day or a bad day or just a meh kind of a day, really glad that you're here uh, with us. Today we are going to be reading the story of Daniel and the Lion's Den. It's a story that I remember being read when I was younger and uh, have just grown up loving the story. So we're going to look at that in just a little bit. Before we look at it though, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on the day. As I said, maybe it's been a good day, maybe it's been a bad day. But what I want us to think about is our listening. How good did we do at listening today? When a parent or guardian asked us to do something, did we listen well and follow the instruction or did we ignore them? Because we need to listen well, don't we? Because there's a reason why they are asking us to do something. Now, maybe you did good listening today, and that's great, but maybe it wasn't so good. Maybe that's something you can do better tomorrow. As I said, we're going to look at this story, Daniel and the Lion's Den. Darius became the new king of Babylon. Daniel was his chief helper. The king's other helpers did not like Daniel. They said to the king, you are such a wonderful king, you should make a new law that for the next 30 days everyone must pray only to you. If they disobey, they will be thrown into the lion's den. King Darius made the new law, but Daniel kept praying to God because Daniel loved God. The king's helpers caught him praying. They told King Darius, now you must throw Daniel into the lion's den. The king knew he had been tricked, but he had to obey his new law. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. He was not afraid. He knew God would take care of him. King Darius told Daniel, I hope your God will save you. That night the king could not sleep. He was too worried about Daniel. At sunrise the king hurried to the lion's den. Has your God saved you from the lions? he called. Yes, answered Daniel. My God sent his angel to protect me. So Daniel returned to the palace. Then King Darius ordered everyone to honour and respect God. What a great reminder that God looks after us. Maybe we don't get thrown to a den of lions, but we often face times where we need to remember that God looks after us, and this is such a great reminder. I'm going to pray for us now. Dear God, give me a faith as big as Daniel's, and help me to always trust in you. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us this evening. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have a great night with a great sleep and rest so you can join us strong in the morning for Wake Up and Sing. I'm going to leave you now with this Bible passage. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways obey him. Then he will make your path smooth and straight. Have a great night. Bye.